So in controller, uh, once test is completed, we should see the summary report. In the summary report, what are things will be there means what time we are executed time, duration of the test, total duration, how much time we are executed, eight minutes, nine seconds. And going to the star six, we can see for the number of users, we are executed 50 users and how much total throughput is generated, what is the average throughput and total hits and the average hits it will generate it. So if anyone asks for the in summary report, what are things will be there means we need to tell these things. Uh, maximum running users, total throughput, average throughput and total hits and average hits. And apart from this, each and every transaction response time. We'll see the response times we can we can consider average will be our response time. So you can observe every response time will be we are seeing for the each and every transaction will be less than two seconds. So those our SLA SLA nothing but who will provide the SLA the client will be provide the SLA. So the SLA will be two seconds. So for this point of view, we are meeting SLA or not? We need check for the year average. Average means. How much users we are executed? 50 users executed. In the 50 users, average response time is a one flight booking. It is taking for 1.2. Login it is taking average will be 0 0.413 and payment will be 0 0.216 and sign up will be 0 0.344. So we need to consider for the average. We are getting for the proper response or not. We need to check SLA. This is the average. Minimum means so any one of the time, so script to running time, any one of the time, the least will be, we can call it as a minimum. Maximum means it will be reached for the maximum one time or two time, whatever may be. It is a maximum it reaching for the, this is the maximum. It is went for the three seconds, two seconds. So we don't consider for this minimum maximum, only we can consider as a average response time. This average response time, we are meeting SLA or not. SLA nothing but service level agreement that will be client will be provided. So for my application, all the transaction will be two seconds. So based on that, we are observed for the, we are executed 2000 users. Then we can observe for the, any one of the response time, it is a taking a high response time or not, we need check. So everything good, then we need to send to the report to the client. And uh, so you can observe, Apart from this summary report in the graphical oriented, we'll see that these graphs, running user graphs, hit per graph, throughput graph, transaction summary graph. See each and every transaction, how many times will be iterated. So you can observe one each one transaction will be 150 times it will be iterated. And uh, average transaction response time graphs, you can observe. These are will be transactions. You want for the which transaction means you can uncheck for all and you need to check for the transaction graph for the each and everyone also. For example, first transaction will be login, right? You can click on login. And so now this is the login transaction. How the login transaction happened? 0 0.4 seconds. So now you can observe maximum I told, right? This is the maximum. Sometimes it reaching for the 3.44 seconds as a uh, which one that is a transaction name is a login and uh, so maximum that one least means you can observe this is the least uh, it is reaching for the zero point something it is reaching so average what will happen it will be including for the maximum minimum everything we can include add as a average so that is why we can consider as a only average we can consider so by graphical oriented we need to see this okay everything is uh, good then we can directly send report maybe sometimes we are not meeting for sla means our service level agreement as per client we are made not meeting for the two seconds we are getting for the more than two seconds then we should find the where could be problem so how we can find the where could be problem means first thing will be client side statistics client side statistics nothing but hit per second throughput transaction response time every response time this in we can call it as a client state statistics so by merging these graphs we need to find the issue could be web server issue or application side issue how we can merge the graphs means you can click on it per second graph so click on right button here and here everyone able to see merge graph 
can click on merge graph and which graph you need to merge so you need to give for the if per second was throughput i am matching so you can click on okay now you can observe it is a inversely proportional or directly proportional happen it is the inversely proportional if per second throughput we can merge means what will happen it is inversely proportional means the test went good so we are good to results so by merging the graph we are unable to find any issue for the it per second and throughput and you want to uh, throughput and the uh, response time we can match and you will see for the it is a uh, throughput and average response time. you can observe this one so both should be what will happen both should be inversely proportional or directly proportional hello throughput and response time inverse proportional or uh, direct proportional how can we identify sir so you can see by merging the merge we are merging graph means what will happen it will merge with the uh, uh, well, together it will merge but you can see this graphs will be not merging together so now we can observe this it per second throughput we can merge how it will happen so both should be inverse but not is a direct proportional inverse proportional means what will happen this is will be not merged properly maybe this graph will be in above this graph will be down so by seeing graph also we need to identify the okay we are getting any issue or not using for the these are will be all client side statistics by merging these graphs we need to find the maybe we are merge the graph we see the it is at inversely proportional then we we should follow the like it is a web server issue or a application side issue we need to find so maybe is a client side statistics <coughs> by merging this all graphs will be good then we are going to the next two point will be server side statistics server side statistics nothing but cpu and memory utilization so where we can see that one uh in side, side scope or in performance or app dynamics or dynamics we can see in side uh, for example you are monitor already so you need already we monitor right uh, one minute will open uh results and sample results like yesterday we are executed right this one so now we can see this is the server side server side nothing but cpu and memory utilization cpu and memory we need to check with the it is crossing more than 80% as or not windows based application means uh, windows os based application it is crossing more than 80% then then we can call it as a cpu memory problem if it is a linux based application so linux based os it is crossing more than 95% then we can consider as cpu memory problem so by uh, seeing for your graphs we need to find the 33% 22 and 10 will be there so means everything will be good so we are not uh, cpu memory is uh, sufficient for this 50 user test so then server side also fine then what we can do next we will go with the web page diagnostics in web page diagnostics what is the web page diagnostics means we can drill down the application it could be network issue or server side issue we need to find the issue how we'll find the issue means uh, we have the time taken buffer graph will be there using the time taken buffer graph we need to time taken buffer graph is a uh, high then we can consider as a network issue time taken buffer graph is a uh, low then we can consider as a server uh, server issue so maybe uh, we we are uh, web page diagnostics also we find and we are unable to find any issue then finally we can move to the application side star six application side star six nothing but we need to check for the code level things like any object it is taking high response time or any thread it is taking high response time or any programming language it is taking high response time so we need to check for this parameter and we need to dig the issue so if anyone asks for the how to analyze the results 
to find out the bottlenecks means we need to give for this answer first one client side statistics second one server side statistics third one web page diagnostics and fourth one will be application side statistics so one by one we can go through that and we need to find the where could be problem so maybe uh, we find any one of the issue and we were done that issue then we are again run the issue then we can see the response time okay this time will be good then directly what we can do we can send to the report to the client so before that uh, we need to observe for the each and every option also so now you can observe this is for the create new analysis scenario means you can click on this you can create means you can create for new scenario means so otherwise we want to the open existing one already test will be already be done so we want to open means you can go to the particular folder and click on open it will open and now you can see this save current analysis means already we are changes right we are merge the graphs so you want to save means you can click on this button it is automatically save results it will ask for the where we need to save so you can give it as a save means it will save the results So, and uh, this button will be, so we want HTML report. So report format, this is the HTML report. You can click on the HTML report and it will ask for the when we need to save the results. So uh, where you are saving in results will be there, right? I'm saving for the results folder in the report. Uh, flight booking report, right? I'm going for the flight booking report and click on OK. So it is uh, generating for the HTML report. See, you can observe create an HTML report. So uh, it is the report, uh, report completed HTML report. We'll go to that folder and we'll see that results. So where we saved in sample results, in the results we saved as a FB report. So everyone able to see FB report. Now we can open. So this is the HTML report. So everyone can see for the report, what is the running user graph? What is the eight per second graph? And what is throughput graph? What is the transit summary? So, and the average response time graph and uh, it per second throughput by merging the graph, how it is matched. So, everything will be came for results. So, just you need to send this report to the, if anyone want to results, then we can uh, add the in mail and we need to send the report. That is the one thing to prepare the report. This is for the HTML report. So everyone able to see HTML report. Now after that, this will be view runtime settings. Means for this scenario, you are design anything in runtime settings. You want to see means you can see here. This is the uh, view runtime setting. This is the uh, set global filter. So set global filter, nothing but we want to the uh, give for the start time stamp, end time stand up the test, and we need to click on OK means it will be automatically report will be generated. So equal to and transaction, you need to give for the transaction name. So you need to select for the transaction name, high level things. So click on OK. So apply. So it is a global B filter means it will be enter all the graphs will be applicable. So that is for the global filter. And after that, this is for the configure SLA. SLA nothing but what is the SLA? 
SLA nothing but service level agreement. So we need to uh, uh, assign and by seeing also we need to assign means we need to click on new and click on next. And now here you can see the transaction response time. We have that different two types of will be there percentile mode and average mode. If you want uh, the percentile mode means you can select percentage, the average means we can uh, actually consider as average, right? That is why we are set, taking as a average. And clear, so transaction response time, we are giving for the response time. So you need to select for the, what are the transactions we have? You need to just import to click on this, uh, login, flight booking and payment and sign up. So these are the transactions we need to give him for the average response time. So here we can select for the transaction uh, running users, so you want to for the running users throughput or transactions second pass or you need to select running user and you need to give for the sla for example our sla what is that less than two second and greater than equal to good two so means our sla will be we are defining our sla so how do we can defend the sla means click on new and select for the uh, you want to the transaction response time or what it means. See, you can observe transaction response time average we are considering. So we are giving less than two seconds. Means if it if you want for the less than two seconds or greater than equal to two. Means more than that or uh, more than that means it will be not our meeting SLA. So just we need configuring. See, now you can observe here transaction name and running users greater than less than two or greater than equal to two then you want to apply means you can click on next and finish and click on close so it will be applicable for the sla for the average response time summary report you can see summary report so it is considered as a SLA, we are made means it will come as a green color. So you can see this, uh, we are not meeting in Y means it is considering as a entire transaction response time. Means it is a minimum, it is a maximum and everything it is taking. That is why it is a more than 10. That is why it is came in SLA into, into nothing but it is, uh, we are not meeting SLA. So just we need to assign the SLA means this is the SLA part. We need to click on this and you see already we added response time. You want for the another one, you can again click on this and next and select for here. We have the different type will be there, right? You need to select for each one you want, you can select. Okay. Your you want to execute this. So you want means we can assign for the SLA. This is the SN SLA. And after that, this is for the analyzed transactions. See, just you want to analyze the transactions only. Means what are the transactions we have? Those transactions you should analyze means you can select this one and this is the duration of the test. How the test is uh, went. So one minute, 30 seconds to 7.30, flight booking will be, see like this will be elapsed time, nothing but is our test duration time. And this is the graph oriented, we need to observe for the just graph oriented point you want to see means you can select this one and you can see. Okay. So you want the throughput means you can select the throughput. You want it per second graph means you can see the eight per second graph. And uh, this is completed, right? Apply filter. So this is also done. One more thing is what is that? Uh, so going to here in file will be we have the like new open cross results save save as delete set global filter 
and uh, already existing what are the lra files we can call it as analysis files nothing but lra files means load runner analysis file we can dot extension of the analysis file is a dot lr a and uh, controller is a dot lrr you can observe when you save for the uh, controller it is come as a dot lrr and what is the uh, parameter dot extension dot so each and every one as a one extension will be there so those are will be extension edit means edit we have the view means summary report will be there here graph means you want to add new graph means click on add new graph so once you can click on the add new graph we'll see the users and transactions and web resources and the same to the web page diagnostics so i told right web page diagnostics means you need to select for the here web page diagnostics and uh, page component of breakdown graphs and uh, you want to, which one want means you can add we want for for example page component breakdown you can select and and click open graph so you can see this uh, each and every which url it is uh, taking for the high response time it will show for those urls here so these are the urls it is taking for the more so you can observe here will be a color indicating for the its color and this is the url of this particular one so means we can add the graphs also we can add if you want which graph you want you can add web page dynamics means you can add for the web page dynamics and uh, so now, now click on this and web page dynamics so this is the web page dynamics and do you want for the any more other graphs means you can click on add new graphs and uh, your web resource also will be there in the web resources you can see for the it per second throughput already we have the it per second throughput will be there you want to the http status code summary means you can select this one already it will be there uh, i think i don't know yeah this is the http status summary code you can see this summary code so http 200 what is the 200 hello everyone will be there yes what is the http status code 200 request to send and response received successfully receive. request we can send and response also we received means successfully request and successfully response we received means that is a 200 now we can observe by seeing this http status code you need to find the if any errors will be there means it will show for the http 400 http 500 also it will be there but in this test you can observe we don't get any http 400 300 500 course means this test went good that is why we are not seeing this so by seeing this graph also we need to identify the okay our test is went to good or not we need to see uh in the report coming to the report you want prepare a report means you can select for the report template and uh, click on generate report click on generate report means it will be entire report will be generated so everything will be report what are graphs we added everything also it will come so now you can observe throughput average response time we matched and as same to be matched for the uh, which graph throughput and response class, it per second so you can see this also will be there and uh, everything will be there so uh, so you can observe this is the page component graph means each page component level which url it is uh, taking high response time so now you can observe in the sign up page page search web tour main and log off and reservation page this pages will be is taking for the high response time that is why we can uh, find the page level also component level so everything is uh, done what we can do we need to report will send we need to send the report we have the different formats will be there so depends on the company depends on the they are asking we need to send the report 
if anyone want PDF means you can select the PDF. If anyone want to CSV file means you can select the CSV file. Anyone want to word means you can select as a word. So otherwise you can do one more thing. Your own also you can prepare one Excel sheet. So for that Excel sheet, you need to mention. So just to summary, you need to mention for this. And after that, you need to add for the workload characters. This also you need to add for that uh, Excel sheet. And after that, you need to add for this uh, transaction summary. You can see this is the transaction summary. So you need to add for the each and every transaction. So no need for this action and user and user in it. So you need to uh, sequence and maintain login and after that uh, flight booking and after that payment and sign up. So you need to uh, copy and paste in the Excel sheet. And apart from this in the Excel sheet, you need to mention for the graphs also, it per second throughput also you can mention. So means by uh, we are going also we need to prepare the report otherwise we want to re prepare for same report to send to the means we have the different formats will be there that format we need to send for the particular team so after reports we have the tools will be there uh, for this will be no need for important and uh, here one more thing miss i think uh, grand quality will be there where is that So analysis point also very important for us. Okay. So by merging graph, we have the, uh, see maybe your merging graphs means we have the uh, three types will be there. Overlap, tile, correlate. What is the overlap means? View contest of two characters, two charts that share the common x-axis. So by merging graph, we already merged, right? It was set throughput. Both should be in X, uh, X format only. It is a, it is X only, X axis. So maybe you can see merge graph. This is the overlap. Otherwise you want to change uh, this one. I think it is already merged, right? That is we're not showing. We can select this one and merge graph. Now we can see the tile. Tile means view the contents of two charts that share the common x-axis and one above other. So for example, you can see, you can uh, see one above other, it will come. Sharing the x-axis only, but it will come as a one above other. Means you need to, uh, by seeing this also, you need to observe the graph. So for example, you can, uh, if per second throughput, you can merge again. And again with this throughput only and using for the tile, you can observe one neighbor other it will come. Means you can see this graph, this graph will be a direct proportional it is showing or inversely proportional. Directly proportional because of both will be equal.